G'day. Hi. Wow, what a week we've had. Yep. Yeah, it's kicked off with um, barbecue on the beach, which was pretty cool. Really nice for you when you made some beautiful dal and some flatbread and cooked that. It was that a up. lovely beach. Oh, it's beautiful. A lovely beautiful beach. spot. With with we live a bit We were there with uh, Ryan and Jess, and it was just yeah, yeah beautiful. Yeah, that's really nice. I caught my first ever mangrove jack. You're all a bit the, happy about that. All these You're years. Trying to catch one for as long caught, as I've known you. Then I caught four the, the next morning. So yeah, mangrove jack. Um, oh, we we went to Pauline Bay. It was a bit windy, and but we thought, bugger, we're going to go to Pauline Bay. So we went there, and we searched for a couple of hours. A long time. We searched and searched for this particular spot. Uh, I had a dot on a map, and the dot was way off. So that threw us off yeah, for at least an hour. Much. And then Wendy found a track. In we went. Mm. Incredible. Yeah, the best art we've seen. Oh, it's just incredible. By far. Yeah, it was incredible. It was Wangina, wasn't it? Yeah, it was yeah, and a little Wangina. bit of Gion Gion in one side, but yeah. wow, what a, what a, and not only the art, but the midden, like, it was so thick in shells. I dug down about a foot, it was just solid shells. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. And um, you can imagine the thousands of years that they used that site. Um, mm. Yeah, incredible. We have had a big week. It's been a big week. Mm. Yeah, we relaxed a bit. We stayed in Maya Maya Cove, Maya, Maya Maya, after the named after the famous Maya, um, for quite a few days and just chilled after that stormy sail. Mm. But yeah, it's been a great week. Um, check it out and mm. hope you enjoy it. Yeah, hope you enjoy it. See ya. Catch ya. Bye. Cheers. They're very friendly, isn't there another one? Big one. That's the big mama. It's so gorgeous. Yeah. There were seven of them, did you say? Ah, uh, yeah. Go on. There's one down here. Oh yeah, it's just a bit murky. Yeah. Gentle, aren't they? So gentle. Agnes just came flying to nutshell on Peanut and I get the sense that he might have caught a fish. So I'll go and check it out. My first ever mangrove jack. So pretty happy. Yeah, pretty happy. We've got this nice little beach right next to where we're anchored. And friends of ours off um, this week, Kapona, Ryan's made up a little smoker over there. We're going to smoke some fish tonight. I've caught some mangrove jack to smoke. And he's got that nice cod from last night. We went fishing. That's Kapona over there. Uh, oops, over there ish. And out of focus. Where's Nutshell? I'll zoom in. There. Uh, there. And this is the little bay we're in. Mia Bay. Absolutely beautiful. It goes for miles down there. You can't really see it. And um, a couple of little beaches. Nice and green. Yeah, it's just beautiful. It's been good with fish. I've caught four mangrove jack this morning. Only kept two because that's all we need for tonight. We've still got Trevally from the other night, which um, Wendy pancoed last night, and we've got some frozen. So we've got heaps of fish. It's absolutely beautiful here. And there we go, that was a 360. Check out all the different layers in that rock. Incredible. The rock formations here are just. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. They must have lots of fires on this little beach here because there's no firewood around. So I just nipped around the corner, found some rocks with a bit of firewood on. I'm just gonna head back to the beach now and drop it off. Look 
What's going on, babe? Uh, just a little bit of having a smoke on the beach. Oh. Smoking some fish. Let's get the smoking environment ready. I made some dal and some flatbread, and we're going to watch the sun go down. Keeping our eyes out for crocodilly snapple gators. Because the water's quite close. Yeah. This is the setup. I think Magnus is putting out a stone anchor. Because when the tide goes out, this beach is very big. We're going to try the boat line. Let's see how we go. Oh, looks a bit cloudy. It smells very yeasty. Ooh. It's not too bad. I think if you were very desperate, you'd probably drink it. Tastes like wine, it's like frizzanti, but it's still got a bit of a yeast flavor, but it's not bad actually. I'm gonna give it a three out of 10. I'm gonna do that, see if that starts smoking up, and then I'm gonna stick the tray on top over the whole lot of it. Just about to put ours on, and I should've put them on like an hour ago. How long does it take, babe? Oh, enough time. Huh? What? That's lazy fishing. It doesn't know it's right. Here it is. Oh, Here it is. Oh. He's prancing across the sand. <laughs> Get around from the rock. Oh, yes, a little, it's a little cleany. I like this. This is good TV. Yeah. Sorry, mate, but I'm gonna give him mine. Oh, he's pulled it! Oh, no, he's got, he's hit a rock. Yeah, he lost your hook. We're just leaving Mia Cove and we're heading around the corner to Pauline Bay to check out the rock art. See ya. Peanut and nutshells out there. Just coming to this beach, we're going to walk over to the rocks over there where Wendy's walking and hopefully find a bit of rock art to have a look at.
What do you reckon? What's that? About this place. Lovely. Oh, nice. Overzealous, so I just kept walking. So we think it's somewhere back in there because it's just inland. I just assumed it was over there where the rocks are, but apparently it's not. Apparently it's back here inland. So there was a thing on a tree that helped you find it, but that's long gone. So we just have to poke around till we find it. We just found this bit of rope off a tree. So that might be where the track goes in somewhere. We should have bought the machete again. Hang on this tree. Another bit of rope. Well, I'm going to take a photo of the tree so when we get back, we can see if it's the same tree in the other photos. So what do you reckon? Yeah, I reckon that might be the track. I like the sarong. Well, I thought it might protect my legs a bit from yeah. the spin effects, but I don't know. Pretty spiky and it's a bit short. Stuff. So no spin effects further through? No. Just here. here. On with the, no oh, well. um, there's lots here. Whoa, spiky! Very, very, very spiky. Oh, it's definitely been through here. Though. It's all it pushed over. Oh yeah, it could be wallabies. Oh yeah. Alright, keep going. Starting to see a few rocks. Oh, that's got potential. Not very high ones though. Uh, yeah. Oh, I so want to find this one because it's got those beautiful, what are they, Wangina or something? Yeah. Faces, I love them. I just saw that and thought it was a snake. My heart's going 100 miles an hour. And another snake tree. Oh, certainly uh, give you a bit of a shock when you come across them very quickly. Well, that wasn't the right way. So we've gone back out to the beach and we're gonna go a bit further up and investigate the more obvious rocks up the coast of it. These are the more obvious rocks. But it does say you can't see it from the beach, so I don't know. I just go and have a look and I'll get up there in a while. Well, we've found these rocks, but we're not really sure. I found a path, a human one. Oh yeah, well trodden. Hey? Well trodden path. This way, look at this. Okay, I'm going down this one. Can you, have you found me? There's a can there. Where? It's right here. Well, that's a bit late. Why would they put a can there when you <laughs> we've spent the last hour trying to find the way in? <laughs> anyway, there's the can. We found the park yeah, eventually. Yeah, all the worn tracks going up the rocks. Oh my god! Well spotted, Wendy. We still haven't found any art. We think maybe now it's a cattle track. Ah, we'll keep looking. person holding a shield. Yeah. There's a little path that goes through here. Wow, look at this place. Whoa. That's the art just up there. It's 
So there's lots of little ones in here. I'm laying on my back, cross sort of crawled into my back. Pretty tight little cave, as you can see. Oh, up there. Oh, ants are biting me. Oh, ah. It's a well trodden path to nowhere. Yeah, that's a cattle track though. Yeah. So there's a few more rocks here, but it doesn't look very lightly. You want to follow this? We can try. More rocks this way. Tall one. Well, we found it. Wow. Wow, look at this one. Look at this one here. It's got pristine. So many. And look here. If you get down low, you can really see them. Some of these figures would have to be 10 to 15 feet long. And they're just everywhere. It's incredible. Look at this one. It starts way down there, goes way up there. The shells, it's like two feet thick in shells here. This is a mitten. They put out a fire in here, I'd say, because there's a natural chimney there. You can see all the smoke soot. Oh, hands there. It's covered. But that's the most amazing art I've ever seen. It's just everywhere. Everywhere you look. Everywhere, every surface. Oh, it looks like that's the feet of one that's been chopped off. So every surface here is covered in art of different tile styles, different ages. And after all that looking, there's a sign. We're on um, Jallandale visitor location, visitor location number 27. And it says you must have a permit, which we do. Then around the corner here, there's some more. Gion Gion ones. What an amazing spot. What do you think, doll? Um, it's unbelievable. The work and the quality and the, the, the quantity. Yeah. It's, it's just... It's covered. And it's just amazing. Like, I'd love to know more about what all this meant and... Yeah. So for anyone following us, if you want to find it, there's a bit of a reference there. And there's Magnus. And there's a giant rock. And, and a there's rocks on the rock, so if we didn't see them. Where are we now, babe? Uh, we are in Jar Island. And what are we going to do? We're going to go and uh, check out some Aboriginal art. Um, let's see if we're in the right spot. Which we are. Follow the footprints.